everyone welcome to my channel today you're going to see how to make a designer kameez and this is going to be a party wear for this i took a poplin material uh, this is a little bit thick than the normal cotton fabric or else you want if you want you can just go ahead you can go for either satin or for you can go for a velvet material and this is going to be the design what I'm going to show you and this is the most requested video and now it is in trend that is um, from the armpit till the bottom you have a lace it can be this kind of lace running from the armpit till your gear of your kameez and you're going to add a border over here and it doesn't need to come the way down but you can just cut it over the chalk area that is the slit area and and I show you one model of making this kameez I bought a churidar for my daughter and this how it looks so this is what I'm talking about okay now you can see this and for the collar they have added this trim and also starting from your armpit just starting from the armpit you can see this starting from the armpit it just runs all the way down and also at the bottom it is the ankle length kameez so they have given a extra glimpsy trim at the bottom and also they attached the gold trim at the bottom this look really nice and actually this is a velvet fabric you can see this this is a velvet fabric and to the slit area you can see how beautifully they are given and they have added some beads and this is the new doll dress that I made for my daughter's doll the Barbie and I think you know this combination I made a kameez like this so she also want to make a dress for her Barbie so she want to show this so I think it is nice okay I did the main marking that is the neckline the shoulder as is going to be the collar neck the shoulder would be a little bit uh, bigger in size and the armhole marking and this is going to be the uh, the chart marking and going to the down so armhole I just marked from the old kurta I'm sorry old kameez so goes in deeper and here. Okay, leaving a, a one and a half inch. This is going to be the seam elements what you're going to give. So from there, goes in. Come out. And as this is a collar neck, just give a small you okay very small view and we can cut this out The total cost what I invested in this for making this kameez is nearly by 350 that's it not more than that but I show you the output when it comes out and it will be so classy and if you buy this same material that is with the same nick design from the outside market sure for sure they will charge more. The armhole out and now I'm going to show you how to mark the neckline and this is a normal collar neck but it's going to be a little bit deep in neck um, it's not going to be a high collar or stand collar so for that um, I just 
took the shoulder measurement that is 5 inches from 5 inches I just marked the 9 inches and for this project it doesn't need so much of big that is the 9 inch neckline but instead of that you can take a 6 inches and give a mark and close this out and give an angle and make a U like this so this you don't need this one and from here to here just take a nearby 9 or 10 inches from this point from this point you take a 9 or 10 inches I'm taking 10 inches from the top and I'm going to cut deep into this to a straight line till this 10 inches marking and let, let me do that And after cutting the neck piece open the fabric like this and you're going to cut deep into that for 10 inches it just depends upon if you want you can take 10 inches or else you want you can take 11 to 12 inches okay. so this is, we are going to give a piping to this and this time it's not going to be a cord piping uh, this time I'm going to make a simple piping that's just folding the fabric into half and sewing it and turning it inside. You, I, I show you a new method of adding the piping. Now let us see how to make the kameez neckline first. So now uh, take a 3 to 4 inch wide fabric like this and open it. Just double fold the fabric and you're going to place the fabric by matching all the raw edges together and put one stitch over here and you're going to turn this in like this okay so this is going to be the pretty side of the fabric what I'm sewing right now Pull the fabric, just ease the fabric. It should not have any stretch over the fabric. When you come to the exact point where the slits close, just put a two or one back stitch and just take out the kameez out and I'm going to trim this out. And I'm going to do the same to the next side of the neckline. So fold this again and place it exactly at the point where the slit ends and I'm going to start sewing same like that just put a two to three back stitches before starting okay and then you can go further up make sure you don't pull the fabric this is a cotton fabric so that you have a massive amount of stretch as this uh, this comes under a little bit across so don't do the fabric ease the fabric and then sew it together okay. once it's done it looks like this so now you can see the stitch ends exactly at this point okay. I want to make sure that is clear that you just end over this point and take your sharp scissors and you're going to cut into an angle over this point okay so you're going to cut it like this in an angle it should be crow cross like this and take your scissors and just snip this in a little bit 
like this and same you can do it to the next side turn in like this so you've got a piped illusion if you want too thin you can just fold it in tightly like this or you want to be big like this you can open it a little bit wider and this depends upon you how you want to do you can do it and you can just tuck this in to make it neat okay I'll show you how to stitch this together Once it is done it looked like this and it doesn't close because we have cut it in an angle so that it has an opening over here so you can keep a piece of fabric in and you can close it tightly like this or else you can just keep it wide like this and you can add a contrasting color fabric into this I took a gold color fabric like this this is a brocade material and I just folded it in once and I'm going to place this under the slit, the neckline slit, like this. Okay, this point is where my neckline depth end. While starting the video, I showed you the neckline marking from the shoulder. I marked 9 inches and I divided the 9 inches by 5 and I marked this curve. So this 9 inch end over here. So I'm just keeping the golden fabric exactly at the place of where the 9 inch falls. And um, it looks something like this when you sew together. Start from the top by the... Uh, back stitch and go all around down turn it in and just go up And you can see how neat the neckline is and now I have finished making my neckline this is a normal collar neck and I attach the lace to this and it is just simply just like a band you can go ahead and you can sew all, all the either side of the uh, lace and also I did my uh, sleeves you can see I used a very thin trim and a red color fabric like this and now now you're going to attach the lace on the side of the uh, kameez for that just partially sew your sleeves i have sewn half the way of the sleeve and i just left uh, three to four inches not to be sewn and so so uh, just imagine that you're going to finish the kameez when you're going to finish the kameez what you'll do you will just mark the exact measurement the points where you're going to sew and you draw a line and you sew on the line the same thing you're going to do just draw a real thick line at the back of the kameez so that you'll get an impression at the pretty side of the fabric making that as a mark you have to draw a very thin line making sure that 
this point is where you're going to sew on this line so you're going to keep the uh, lace next to that line See? make sure this is your line where you're going to sew so you're going to keep the lace like this okay this is going to act as a margin so that you're going to sew on this line at the back side of the fabric and you're going to attach the lace or the pretty side of the fabric and also this is the uh, chart of the kameez that is the where the slit starts so if you find difficult in sewing attaching the sleeves um, sorry attaching the lace and then making the slit what you can do is just start from the armhole place the lace and just stop over here do not cut the lace and stop exactly at the uh, slit area and close the kameez and then you can um, sew the uh, slit and then you can attach this lace this is a normal uh, cotton fabric it can be a lining fabric or whatever because you need a really light fabric so i took a cotton fabric and i took um, one and a half inches and i'm going to cut over this So if you are taking 2 inch, make sure you take all 2 inch, uh, if you are taking 1 and a half inch, make sure you take all 1 and a half inch. See, this is going to be a straight lace but in the hip area you're going to have a curve so that just just pinch the lace a little bit and and place it on the margin like this so that you'll make a nice curve going to sew the next side
so here we go just make sure you fold in all the raw edge and you fold it like this so you can see the raw edge is over here and one raw edge is folded in so you're going to place this next to the black lace and you're going to sew on the margin over here Sew all the way down like this. Okay, here we go. Now it's ready. You can see the red is the red color cloth is being sewn together, and this side is open, and one side you have sewn. So on by concealing this layer black color thread, I'm going to use a gold color lace over here. So see this. So where you where the stitch has gone through, you're going to place this lace on top. This is going to act as a border for your uh, black color lace and also it looks really pretty good. So only one stitch is enough for this black lace. I'm sorry for this golden color lace because it is very uh, thin lace. It, uh, the breadth of the lace is just a quarter inch. So you don't want to put a two stitch. Just one stitch is enough. don't believe it it came out really pretty good I can see this so I want everyone to try this kind of kameez it's uh, just turning your plain black color fabric into a really a good party wear it came out really pretty good so this is the black lace and then you're going to attach this red color lace let it be open over here if you want you can put the red color thread and you can sew it on top or else you can leave it as it is and in between both you am going on just um, applied uh, another golden thin lace to this and you're going to do the same to the next side of the kameez
okay now we are done with attaching the lace on both the sides of the kameez and now we are going to join that together and finish off the sleeves I told you are going to leave a 3 to 4 inch so finish off the sleeve first You have a margin over here there it shows where the lace stitch fall so you're going to sew exactly at the corner very tip corner of the lace and I have already marked the crease where I'm going to sew I showed you before and so I'm going to sew on the crease line where I marked so make sure you match the sleeves like this and place start from the sleeves place the sleeve under the footrest and start sewing make sure you match the pretty sides together Uh, if you find still the kameez doesn't have the shape or a structure what you want no need to worry I show you how to mark the dot at the back so that it will give the exact shape what you need so just stop where the mark is placed for the uh, slit opening so come to the end and put two to three back stitches over here And now we are done with the one side when you open it it look like this once it's sewn together you can see how nice it is there's the sleeves and from here it goes okay and now we are going to sew the slit together Once, once you're done sewing with the one side of the slit, you're going to sew on the nether side of the slit. And you're going to sew it like a A. Start from the end point and go to the slit point and turn it like a A. Okay, the same technique you're going to do the next side of the slit. And we are came to the end of the kameez. So this is the bottom end of the kameez so double fold the fabric like this and start sewing on the one line so this I did before you can see this so I'm going to repeat the same process that's a lay this black lace then red color piping lace and one uh, 
thin gold lace. So first I start with my black color lace. So just fold little and conceal this like this. Totally I used uh, 3 meters of this black lace and also 4 meters of the thin gold lace. And when you come to this one, this out. Fold this in on top of this red color lace. So the next step is adding a red color trim to this. So same like that, double fold it. And then I'm adding the gold color that is a thin gold lace. And we are done with our kameez. Oh my god, I can't believe it. It came out really, really, really 100% good. I love this kameez. I'm waiting to wear this. And let me show you how it look. And this is going to be the end result of my kameez. You can see this. 
and it came out mm, very 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 beautiful and I love this design and you can also make one like this and coming back to neckline it is something like a collar neck and the neck pattern is like that and if you want you can add buttons to this and the sleeves and to the back side of the kameez if you want you can add the add the same uh, thing to the back side of the kameez but i ha don't want to do that so to make it simple and neat i just applied a red color uh, cloth and i applied uh, added a gold color trim to this and for sure i know that you love this one so making one from a, a plain black fabric and turning that plain back black color fabric into an exclusive a uh, party outwear is not a not a small thing to do it need more hard work and time and effort to make this kameez but today i showed the techniques and tricks and all kind of stuff to make a pretty well kameez like this i think you will also make something like this if you do something like this just please upload on my facebook page the pictures of the kameez what you did that you learned from my channel i'm really eager to see that and also if you like this video just click on the thumbs up button below and please do share this video with your friends let them also make like this and enjoy and also subscribe to my channel so that i don't want you to miss any of my future video and to subscribe to my channel is very simple just click on the link that you see on the screen and you will be subscribed to my channel and thank you so much for watching my video once again have a great day bye bye